We've been welcomed. <laughs> so we're landed. You're so short. I'm gonna have to hold it like this in order to get both of us I in know, the frame. It's so short. It's so on the wrong, we, we, it splits off in two, we went the wrong way. This is my height. So this is what I see. This is my chest. You have to, have to hold the phone in reference to you and what it looks like when I you. No, okay. So this is my eye height. <laughs> so like when I look up, this is what I see. <laughs> She's so pretty. You're so pretty though. Pretty Emmy content. For all Emmy contents, pretty Emmy content. So then this is the easier thing. So we just finished getting dinner with Joseph, Corey, Nick, Kylie. Uh, is that everyone that was there? I think so. We're tired. <laughs> there are six of us. So we didn't think to record while we're actually getting food with them, but we got Thai. Um, he, mine wasn't. He, for, he forced my thing in the temple go box. He's like, oh, can I put this in the box for you? I'm like, sure. <laughs> so I have to take it back. Um, it tastes like Fruit Loops, so it wasn't that appealing. But it was food, and I ate it, and I'm gonna pass out. So tomorrow we're gonna go to the venue, pick up the, uh, the stuff that we need, and then figure out what we're doing from there. Badge pick up, check in. There you go. And then test. <laughs> yes. I already vlogged. Dude, I love this guy. So, we're, we're going to check it right now, right? Yeah, Oh, got it. Okay. So, I tried recording, and then the second I tried recording. I got stopped. Oh, there's Bo. Say hi, Bo. Have you seen your thing? So, you've seen him before. I think you've been on vlogs before, have you? Nope. Nope? Okay, so you haven't seen him before. He's brand new and he's playing some sick stuff. So, I'll show you that in a bit. I don't even know if this is recording audio properly, but we're currently checking in, all that. There we go. Obligatory entrance shot that everyone does. Vlogging. Look how pretty she is. <laughs> Your camera's on you. Pokey Emmy showcase. <laughs> Anyways, we're about to go play this. And then meet up with Trent and Bo, Corey and Joseph. I think that's it. I'm just gonna just see how that kind of goes. Um, I'm definitely still working on the sequencing. I feel kind of lost without me or VMAX anymore, but what can you do? Um, but yeah, otherwise, feeling really confident about the 60. I think we're kind of debating the like final 60th card. Definitely have 59 locked in, so hopefully through testing today we can kind of figure that out, but we'll see. Alright, so I'm walking back to the hotel room to grab a full art of Cyrene for my binder. Um, Asher and I are not agreeing on the 60th card, which is actually really fun. So he and I are playing the same 59 right now. He's going to test cutting a different card for Cyrene. I'm going to test cutting a different card for Cyrene. The concept there being Cyrene, prime catcher back, and then we have so many ways to draw two, which is part of the reason I say for me the X code breaking is so good in the deck. So yeah, I don't know if you can see. Uh, I have 
like flashbacks from when I played Cyrene and Mew for so long and I feel like I'm just gonna flip tails <laughs> so I feel like Cyrene's gonna be terrible uh, like for me personally but we'll just have to see um yeah Bo and his dad just arrived as well so Asher is helping Bo figure out what the play is for him and his division um and then the rest of the team I'm pretty sure is out getting lunch um, and then we'll meet up with them later, so. Oh, you gonna record me. <laughs> I was like, you wanna vlog? And he was like, yes. And then I hit record. I thought you were gonna like, start it. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to start it, okay. Uh, We are walking to a British people, like Too groceries, <laughs> British people grocery store. <laughs> they have grocery stores in Britain? I don't think it's a real place. Anyways, we're on a mission for snacks for day one. And also for just, I was gonna say a toothbrush, but I don't wanna out you that you didn't, you forgot a toothbrush. I forgot a toothbrush. Anyways, so yeah. yeah. Looks like socks. That's good. Forgetting socks is like the worst thing. That's such a mood. Yeah. Alright, hopefully we find what we need. Alright, we're back from we're back from Tesco Express and they made us check out in a different area because we had too much stuff. Where they actually had bags. We're such darks. But, I mean, I've only been out of the country. I mean, I don't know if Canada counts. But it's only, Canada's only my, not real. Canada's not real. This is only my third time, so. We, we, we submitted and fully committed to same 62 pound list so will be displayed above Emmy's face. It's kind of weird. She's like, Michael was asking that one. I can't believe it. I'm on TV. Yeah. Um, and maybe our wonderful dinner of chips, fruit, and Krispy Kreme donuts. Oh, peanut butter. <laughs> it's peanut butter. I was trying to get utensils. <laughs> Just go pay in the peanut butter jar, grab it out. Um, yummy, yummy. Someone save me. Save you? Don't say it. I'm gonna get audio from this. <laughs> Good morning. Ash is in the shower. It is like 7.30, I think. Um, well, I got like 7.15 ish, not too bad. I definitely slept weird last night. I woke up like three different times, and every time I, for some reason, felt like I overslept, but I only slept for like an hour or two. I don't know if that's jet lag or like what it is. It's probably jet lag, is my best guess. But, um, definitely didn't affect us the first day, but I'm feeling it the second day. So hopefully I play okay today. Um, gonna get dressed and then go get some breakfast downstairs. Wow, my hair is like. Super frizzy here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, the climate kind of feels like home, but like, I don't know, it feels a little more humid and like, it's just, it's different. Um, everything here is different, but it's it's been good and stuff. So. Hopefully. Not a picture. Not a picture. It's a video. I don't know if you just heard vlogs with Teddy, it's not a picture. It's not a picture, we're, we're recording. So we are on the way down, it's like 8, 20, 8 13. 8.13, sure. So, I'm gonna get breakfast real fast, and then head over to the venue. So, pairings are up at 8.45, round starts at 9. So we got plenty of time to eat food, right? Oh. Oh. Okay. That's a fire exit, go this way. There's no escape. So I am now 1-1, so my first game of Fair the Mirror Match, fantastic guy. Um, I ended up broken on accident because I benched the wrong Pokemon on my hands. I needed to bench my Radiant Greninja, and that's what I was intending to do. 
and I just grabbed my chimp out and benched it, which means I put a ninja snipe the last prize for game, because I had a damage max caliber that I needed earlier. Um, so I couldn't kill him, uh, which means he ended up taking it. Uh, he's now 2 0, he paired two chimp out mirrors. So I might get him the lug later when I find him again. But I'm 1 1, third Dialga, to kind of recover from me ninjing while they're building. turn 1. Um, I'm doing Airy, which was interesting, because that delayed the game by about a turn, maybe two turns, I think it was a turn, because he was able to get rid of my superior energy retrieval, um, and I think it was Ultra Ball, so I couldn't immediately go and grab it. So, I still had... If he was able to set up like a third Beldum, get my Tang, and then V-Star a Max, and then Airy got rid of the Rare Candy's superior energy retrieval, then I would've been like, okay, Rare Candy Ultra Ball might've been better, who knows, but... Um, anyway, so check out other people. I may also play the mirror match. She's started 0-1. We'll see how she goes. Corey's 1-1. Joseph's still playing. So we'll check in with them periodically. I'm too embarrassed to vlog in front of everyone else, so I step away. Uh, we are now 1-1. One -one. Round 1, I get Owen Cameraman playing the mirror. I have yet some sort of detection there, and I just couldn't get set up. Game 1, game 2, I whiffed. Uh, turn 2, uh, Prime Catch for Cancel like Blown, knock out both French backs. I needed one more piece, which was that cancel clown, and it was literally the next card on top of my deck, so that's just unfortunate. Um, but it happens. So then round two, I hit Ancient Fox. I ended up uh, winning game one, scooped game two because I just couldn't get set up in game three. I ended up winning in turns, so that was sweaty. Um, I don't think I've discarded that many energy to knock out a uh, how much health? 310 health. Uh, I can't do math. No, 290 health on a Roaring Moon. That's a lot of energy. So, I haven't played this deck enough, I feel like. But we'll see. Um, Girl Power Photo went well. Today we ended up posing in front of the Maridon Prideon banner. And there's like little Koi Coco, Sprigatito, and um, what is the other guy? Claxley? The standees. And then I noticed by the front entrance there's a turret stand. So I'm definitely going to have to get a photo in front of that today. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Hopefully the rest of the day goes smoothly here. Um, Asher said that you have to have 12 wins to make top cut. So that would be, you know, going basically either 8-1 and, and then just winning a bunch or going 7-1-1 and, and then winning a bunch. That's a lot. That's, that's a big ass. But maybe Shampao will end up... He's videoing me vlogging. I don't like this. Anyways, signing off. Look at this nerd vlogging over here. She can see me vlogging here. Vlog of the everyone's dreams is dead. We all have depression. And we're gonna die of sadness. We're gonna get pasta later. So, I haven't been recording updates because it's really been rough, but I paired somebody named Robin Banks running an item block. He takes me out of day two convention. Now I'm sad. Nathan Stratford, uh, we, we had him take a shower in our hotel room because uh, he didn't have a warm shower anywhere else. So we're like, yeah, you can just come over and do it real fast. And he's like, really good record with Ancient Box. So if he ends up winning the event, that means there would be two events in a row where we hosted a player named Nathan and they end up winning. So now I'm, I'm rooting for him, because none of us are doing well. So... She's so pretty though. What? She's so pretty. Guys, I'm so dead. I don't know how I just played nine rounds of Pokemon. With the time zone difference and learning a new deck in like a week after playing UV Max for an entire like half season, <laughs> literally as long as I could play it, you know, like I have not played a different deck other than UV Max to a major except for this, like EUIC. I ended up five. Four, so I got to top 1,024 points, which is 50 points, so I'm at 390 points towards my world's invite. 
My mapping is very weird now. I needed 512 to have the mapping that I had planned. So I'm gonna kind of have to look at that and decide. Asher and I are deciding if we wanna full send Chin Pao for Orlando next weekend, because it is so soon. It's literally right around the corner. Um, he is the most amazing partner ever and he is getting pizza right now because I was in tears with how badly my back hurt. Um, I don't know what is up with the chairs that have been at the last few events, but they've just been awful and I was just in so much pain. I definitely should have taken ibuprofen, but I didn't. Um, so I'm gonna take some after we eat something. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's definitely like a bittersweet feeling. Um, like I got points, Asher didn't. Um, and both of us kind of looking at our mapping and deciding where do we go from here. Um, hopefully that's not too much information, TMI. But yeah. I'll never record the train yet. Train. We've only uh only messed up the train one time. <laughs> one time. Only one.